Hello again, crafty friends. This should be live, but if you were here for my previous two tests for Crafty Advent Day 5, did I just say this? Yeah. If you were here for my two previous live attempts for Crafty Advent Day 5, you know that I was having some issues. So what I'm going to do is kind of record the process like it is a live stream. So I'll have my two cameras and um, yeah, I'll try to talk as I'm creating. I'm going to miss seeing you guys over in the chat, but hopefully tomorrow for day six, the technology, the technology gods um, will not will not harm me. Um, special shout out to my friend Danny, who is Danny's dreams here on YouTube. Right after all of that hubbub happened and I had to finally just give up, she sent me a sweet Marco Polo with some encouragement. She also said maybe I should go have some caffeine. So I did go get myself a can of Diet Coke that hopefully I can make it through this and we can make a tag for day five and I can get this uploaded. I'm going to have to try to figure out how I want to do like the giveaway on this. Maybe I'll do a premiere and the people who join me, that's probably what I'll try to do is I'll pick somebody in the chat. Um, but anyway, let's kind of recap what happened. So we did open up the all of the day five gifts from Tailored Expressions. We got these little viney or leafy dies. From Spellbinders, we got this border embossing folder. And somebody asked if this would fit in a small die cutter. This is two inches wide. And then the company that was chosen to craft with was Crafter's Companion. And they gave us some 3D glitter glue today in silver. Now, before the final give up. I had, we had chosen that I was going to use this Tailored Expression shaker tag. I'm not going to make a shaker out of it, but I thought it would be nice to switch the tag up today and just do something different. So I had cut the two white cardstock copies with you live. And then while I was calming down, you know, getting my, getting more water, you know, getting my camera set back up. After that, I did cut three copies of the frame in red because I want to have a little dimension on there, but I don't necessarily want to try to get foam tape behind everything. And we also decided before I went off that we're going to use the watermelon. And I think this is, um, yep, yeah, this is sweet basil, um, kind of like Christmassy. And then the silver glitter glue would go with that. So, I'm going to get started just kind of gluing these together. I'm going to set this one aside for now. I'm going to glue these together and tell you about some other things that I had talked about previously and how we're going to take care of those. Um, I had mentioned that if I got to 37,220 subscribers, by the end of the live, I would give a bonus word. Well, by the end of the lives, when I was live, I had gained two. So I was at um, 215. So what I thought I would do is I will check again when I am done recording this video to see if any chance that my subscriber count went up. And if it did, then I will give out a second bonus word. Now, if you're wondering what those bonus words are all about, sorry, a bonus secret word. So in each of my videos this month, I am giving at least one secret word. And remember, the uh, important part of that is secret. Do not give it away, but you'll collect those. And at the end of the month, I'm going to tell you how you can enter to win either a Spellbinders or a Crafter's Companion Advent Calendar. Now, that is only open to my U.S. subscribers, but each day I am giving away the tags I create, and that is open internationally. So hopefully you guys will want to join me when I can go live and get entered to win these. I'm just trying to get this set up so it's nice and right on top of each other. The good thing when you use a liquid glue for something like this is you have a little bit of wiggle time to move that around and get it just right. So I thought, 
three layers would work for this. And then we'll let this dry for a little bit while we move on to our next part. Which today I'm actually, I think I'm going to use all of the pieces, I mean all of the gifts um, in my project. And then I can also go back and use other gifts that I have gotten. Now I am hoping, I want to cut another piece of white that is just like the size. Oh, you know what? I have the perfect thing that I can do that with. I don't have to worry about measuring it and getting it right. I am going to use the frame die and a piece of white cardstock. And I'm going to go cut that. And then I'll have the perfect size for the inside of this. The die I'm using, it is from Tailored Expressions. I do have lots of links to the items I'm using each day, what is available down in the description box if you wanna check that out. As always, some of them are affiliate links, so if you use them, I might get a little commission at no extra charge for to you. Now, I have the perfect piece of white to go right in there. What I'm gonna do with this is do a little ink blending. Thought we'd give it a nice background. Get a new piece of grid paper today. Catch that extra ink. I'm going to hold this in place temporarily with a little ATG on the back. And I removed some of the tack just so later it's not too hard to pull up. And I know this might be an odd, well, it might not be an odd combination with what colors I've chosen, but we do have to be careful. I'm going to ink blend with the watermelon and the sweet basil, but we do not really want these to meet because they could make a not nice color. But I'm going to come in from one end with each of the colors and try to leave a little white area in the middle. While I do that, I do want to point out something else that I offered in that original live video. And that was if you are a subscriber who is also a creator here on YouTube, I would like to invite you this one video or in that original live to put your link to your channel in the comments. And then if people are interested in finding more creators to come and see what they're creating, they can do that. So put in the comments the link to your crafty YouTube channel and uh, kind of put like, you know, what is your favorite thing to do? Like, is it cards? Is it tags? Is it mini albums? Um, is it scrapbooking? Whatever your channel focuses on, let us know. And then my other subscribers who see that can go in later then and find some new friends to um, follow. Now, just so you know, because you are putting a URL down there, it is not going to show up right away. I'm going to have to approve that comment. So don't worry if it doesn't show up. I will go in a couple times a day and take care of that. So here I'm just going to come in from the other end with watermelon, which I noticed yesterday in a video was getting pretty dry. So I re-inked it, and I'm not sure if I've ever inked a... Um, a colored ink pad before. So hopefully I did it right. It's looking a little, it's feeling a little juicier, but I think I might have to go back in. So I'm trying to concentrate on the ends the most and then fading out into the middle. So this will go right in the opening. And then I was going to cut the branches or the vines out of the green color and kind of maybe put them down in the corner. So those, I, I will have the red at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and cut both of these and kind of, okay, Google, okay, Google, stop. I'm not sure what that timer was for. Um, thank you for the interruption. At least it wasn't, you know, it, at least it wasn't interrupting my recording, right? Like stopping it. So I don't know, these kind of look, oh, wait, maybe it's just that they head different directions. So I'm going to cut two of those. And actually, I'll bring in the thing so you can see it just to give you something to watch while I do that. I'm going to cut two of the green branches and then 
I'm going to use the embossing folder on the piece that we just ink blended. And that'll add a little extra texture in the background. Let me know in the comment section how many videos you've been able to watch, if they were live or recorded, I guess. I'm hoping I don't have to do it this way the rest of the Advent season. I'm hoping my internet will cooperate tomorrow because I really, I have, I have thoroughly enjoyed going live with you guys each morning, um, opening the gifts and creating. So I'm hoping we get to still keep doing that. And, and take this piece and the embossing folder. And now every time I kind of have to remember, I think I have to take both of, maybe both of these off. We'll see. And I'm just going to put this right in there. It doesn't quite go all the way to the edge, but I think this will be just fine. Dots folders are always one of my favorites. I have them in like a regular A2. I have it in a five by seven. So this will probably be a well used advent gift. And I'm just gonna run that through. I think I might've picked the wrong sandwich on this one guys. Oh, that was rough. Okay, I might have ran it through the wrong way. I wanted the dots to pop up, but hey, live and learn. I could have paid a little closer attention, but I think that's pretty cute. Gives it a little extra texture and interest in the background. And I have not forgotten that we have to use the glitter glue. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to use it. I'm just going to temporarily hold this in place with some removable tape because I don't want to put my red frame down just yet, but I do want to put my background down. I want to know exactly where that should go. And yeah, hold on, this is not working as well as I had hoped. <laughs> the tape was moving it. So what I'm going to do, kind of like I did when I put my piece onto my grid paper to do the stenciling, I'm going to put a little adhesive, take some of that tack off so I can pull it up easy later. in place. Now I want to make sure I want my green at the top and then I think I'll use my art glitter glue again to set this down inside. Um, while I am working on that I want to go ahead and give you the secret word of the day. Remember not to point this out in any way um, in the comment section below you know like no asterisks, stars, or just straight out pointing out the secret word today is, but I know that the word will probably come up in just your comments. So that's okay. Just don't point it out. Today's secret word, thank you to my technical issues, is issues. I-S-S-U-E-S. -S -S. Now you don't have to worry about spelling that correctly on the final in the final entries. I just wanted to give you an idea in case you mishear me, then that might help. But um, definitely today was about issues, but it's also going to be about rolling with the punches, right? Make the best of it. So now I'll let that sit for a little while and get dried. And now I have to think, how do I want to use my glitter glue. I'm going to try this on a little scrap just to see kind of how it works and how it comes out. I think I'm going to probably use it for some shine maybe. It's pretty, nice and silvery. Mm, I think what I'll do, 
I was thinking about maybe adding some to these pieces, but I think instead, since I embossed it with kind of like um, actually a deboss and there are wells, I think I might choose some of these to just fill with some silver glitter just to add some sparkle to the background. Okay, while I'm doing this, it may be a little bit of quiet. I have to concentrate here. Go ahead. Um, if you have it already, if you're enjoying this series, I would love for you to give this video your stamp of approval. And when I say that, I mean give it a thumbs up. If you don't already subscribe, please do that. It's free, it's quick, it's easy. And if you have any crafty friends, family members, acquaintances, coworkers, frenemies, neighbors who might enjoy my channel and my videos, I would love for you to share it with them. Okay, I have no rhyme or reason going here in my dots. I probably should have. I just want a little sparkle. And then I'm going to set this to the side to dry. Probably should have figured out um, all of this stuff earlier and gave it some time. But this is kind of like live crafting that I'm doing here with you guys. Since I'm going to record it like it's alive and upload it. So things don't always go, obviously, as we plan, right? Maybe later after I have all my other pieces on there, I might go in and add some more. But here we just have a little sparkle on there. All right, be right back, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get the frame added and try not to smear my glitter glue. Press that down. Try not to get in my glitter glue, which I already did. Now I would like to put both of these on there. figure out how I want to do that. Maybe like that. And then that first day, remember I got a bow. I got a bow on the first day with the Spellbinders car. We might add that to this and maybe I'll see if I can find some glittery silver cardstock or silver paper to do that with. When I'm doing this Advent series, I'm trying to really concentrate on things I've gotten in the calendar besides like those card socks and inks and markers I've chosen. So now that I've, I'm five days into it, I now have the past five days to kind of go back and choose some of that stuff. So I think I will get that out here, but let's try to get this glued down. And my daily scam call was just coming in. So let me ignore that. I swear every day at this time I get a, num a call from that same number. And I looked it up and it says, yeah, it's a robo call. Hopefully it's not like Publishers Clearinghouse trying to get a hold of me or anything. I don't even know if it's still a thing. But oh man, my grandma used to always get those mailers when I was young. And I swore that we were going to be the next winners of that thing. Uh, obviously we weren't, but a girl can hope, right? I try to just lift up the little bits that I want to glue down. Try not to move anything too much. And then I also have to be careful of that glitter glue that I didn't let dry very well. <laughs> Hopefully by the time I mail these at the end of the month, they'll be good. Speaking of that, so the daily tag giveaways... I will choose daily a winner, but they won't go out until 
probably the beginning of January because at the end of this month, I want to kind of do an overview of the tags I've made and the gifts that I've gotten each day. So just know that if you do win one, you don't necessarily want to be looking for it to come right away. All right, so there it is so far. I think it's looking pretty cute. You can see all the, the glitter glue I have there on my finger. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go see if I can find some silver paper and I'll be right back. Look at this as what I found in my stash. This is from Concord and Knight Neutral Glitters Paper Pack. Not sure when I got it, but it has silver. Oh, and you might be wondering, how is she going over to get more cardstock? I am allowing myself to add metallics um, besides the stuff I've grabbed and what comes in the advent calendar. Just because you might always need a little sparkle, right? So I'm keeping, I'm going to set this to the side. I am keeping the dies that I get from the advent calendars in this little magnetic folder. This is an old one from Quick Cut slash, whoa. All right, cross your fingers that that stays. But anyway, you saw what the mess is around me. I have my nice tidy little work area that you see in the camera and then I just throw everything to the sides. <laughs> so anyway, this is a little magnetic binder that I'm gonna keep the daily, any of the dies I get. But the first day I got that cute little car and it had a bow to go on the present. So I'm going to try to cut that in this silver glitter paper. I'm just going to cut a little section here to send through. And it cut nicely. Now let's see if we can get it onto our tag. Put my bow back before I forget. These were a little tricky the other day to keep a hold of. So I am going to get some tweezers out to help me. I'm going to try to just put where the bow meets the ribbon right there where my two vines meet. Love the Barely Art glue for this. I'm not sure if I called it Art Glitter Glue earlier. I've been doing that lately because that is the liquid glue I was using. But then my friend Karen, who is Karen's Crafting Company here on YouTube, she sent me the Barely Art glue and I am loving it also. So it's become my go-to on my craft table. I wonder if I was supposed to put, I was probably supposed to put this part on first, wasn't I? Probably put the bow on top. I think we're going to call that tag done. Um, I did want to... Where's my, I cut that second copy. Now I'm not going to put this on yet since that glitter glue isn't dry, but I will go ahead and sign it. Oh, there we go. Sign it for the recipient and then put that this was day five's tag. And then I'll add that later once everything has dried and I think actually I rubbed off some of this glitter glue, so I'm going to put a little on there. You get that. All right. So here is today's tag. Now, if you are here with us in the premiere chat, hmm, how are we going to do this? Give me a second here to think. Because I do, I want to give it to way, away to somebody who's been, you know, watching the process. So I think what I'll do 
is create a Google form. And I will put the link in the chat box that we have been chatting in during the live premiere for you to go fill out. And I will leave that open um, probably until that. Well, ah, this is hard, guys. And then especially trying to think this out loud live. So I will put that form in the live chat box. And then I'll leave it open for about 10 minutes after we're done. So you have time to go fill it out. And then I will announce the winner on my community tab page. So make sure if you don't already subscribe to me to click on the subscribe below, um, click on the bell and turn on all notifications. And then you should see my community tab post as well. But to when I come back tomorrow, I will review who the winner was. But yeah, you'll fill out that um that Google form. And this is just for the giveaway. It won't be like for the giveaway or, you know, to get your information for the end of the um, end of the thing. If you are the winner of the tag, you'll still need to fill out the Google form with like your all your like address and stuff. So if I have anything else to say about the form, I will have probably chatted with you about it in the premiere. Again, I hope to be back tomorrow, guys, live with everything working, because that's that's like half the fun of this series. You know, I could come down here and make the stuff by myself and share it, but it was fun to chat with you and get to know you better. You know, you can get to know me a little bit better. Um, oh, let me check if we get, remember, the secret word for this video, which is a secret word, is issues because of my tech issues today. I am going to go into my YouTube to see if I have gotten up to 37,220 to see if there's a bonus secret word. No, nope, it's right. It's still at um, 37,215. I don't know if you can see it there up in the corner. Thank you, though, to everybody who has taken the time to subscribe. Thank you to everybody who was here with me during the premiere and good luck in that tag away that tag giveaway. If you're watching the replay, make sure to let me know in that comment section below with the hashtag hashtag replay until my next one, guys. I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.